Hi guys, how are you today? We just got back from town. I bought some lumber for my wife. I'm going to build her a shop here in this spot. It's going to be a 20 by 30. Well, I can get her off my back just a little bit. Give me a little more freedom to do what I like to do. My platform ain't quite the size I need it to be. I got to go get my tractor and come up here and move some more rock. I'm going to widen this out another four foot here. And then I got to extend the back side about another three to four feet. So I'll have room for my platform. And hopefully I can start working on this within the next day or so. I hope y'all come and watch me build it. And we can all do it together. So are you pretty excited about this uh, this job yes. coming up? Yes, I am. I think if out of all the builds, you're actually more excited about this one than any other one. Well, it's a project to help get you off my back so much. I got to love that. We'll have a nice view of the mountain over there. It is. We do have to clear out and thin out some of these trees and it's kind of hard to tell, but if this was cleaned out some, you can actually see the water from up here and the hills. Now in the winter time, with all this gone right here, this is gonna open up a beautiful view. But this shop, what I'm gonna use it for um, is my soap making. I do make soap. I don't really do videos on that because uh, I just don't have an area that. Welcome back guys. So right here we have a a flower bed and we put some mulch in here but we've had a lot of these are our rose bushes and we've had a lot of pest problems so i put some diatomaceous earth on it and hopefully we'll calm this down some uh, there's a lot of pressure for bugs here uh, we also had three okra plants that we just sat here in this bed uh, it was some uh, seeds that came up a little bit later and it looks like uh, they're doing pretty good right now. Over here, our tomato bush. Look at them tomatoes. We are waiting patiently for the tomatoes to get ripe. Uh, put some diatomaceous earth on this also. We've had a little bit of uh, bug problems on a few leaves, not many, just kind of down here. Uh, we've had not See, I haven't seen any worms or anything like that. So, look at this. We have little peppers, jalapenos. Now, this right here, we had a windstorm. My husband had a ladder on the building right here, and it fell and broke off some limbs off of this one tomato plant. So, we stuck them in the ground, and they have grown this much. Here's our basil, two different types. And then back there we have oregano. Now over here, this is our zucchini. And these plants are huge, they're beautiful. Got zucchini, and we have picked uh, quite a bit of zucchini off of these bushes already and back here we have our string beans and we we have little baby string beans on it but we haven't had any to pick yet i can't wait i really want some fresh string beans We've had very little uh, pest pressure on these plants. I put diatomaceous earth on these also, but not much uh, problems here. Our mint is doing okay. And right here, I still need to cut that uh, back. It's coming down at the bottom over here these are our pumpkins uh, on this side we are already getting a lot of blossoms 
back here is our okra i uh, haven't gotten any blossoms on this yet i can't wait because i really want some fresh okra and then right here these are our spaghetti squash and they're also doing good over here our chickens are getting huge our ducks are doing good now these ducks uh, these I hatched out uh, in an incubator I had a lady uh, bring me some eggs and there was probably around 22 of them and only four hatched but they are so beautiful we have our turkeys they've already got this water so so muddy <laughs> Uh, just in a few weeks, it won't be long, we're going to be having to harvest these Cornish Cross. They are getting fat, fat, fat. So our male rabbit, uh, he's doing well. This is our chinchilla rabbit. She's doing good. Mama rabbit, seven babies. We, it was kind of weird. Um, I had her nesting box in here, but two of her babies uh, died. I don't know if it had disease or if she was not feeding them um, correctly. I don't know what happened. I did take the nesting box out and now they're out drinking water and they are, they are also feeding off of her. We haven't lost any more so we have seven out of ten she did lose um, a baby uh, at the beginning and then two we lost maybe about a week ago so we're down to seven but other than that they're doing very well the two more females this female and here's another one now these two I have not bred yet so I'm not sure what kind of mother they will be when I do decide to breed them. And then this one is a new time mom also. And then she has eight babies and they are doing wonderfully. Uh, she has not lost any of hers. Right here in the greenhouse, our cucumber is still doing good. Um, it has slowed down some, but it's still producing cucumbers. So we're very pleased about that. Back here, we have cleared out some more land. And uh, we showed that on the last video. So we added uh, quite a bit more going down until the edge to where it drops off. We did purchase a bush hog so that will allow us to cut this brush so we're going to be working on that right here i have an area marked off and we're going to be putting our garden down here it's going to be a 36 by 100 and i believe we're gonna i haven't really 100 percent uh decided but I think I am going to do a combination of in-ground and also raised beds. I haven't made that decision 100% yet. But I'm hoping that we can get somewhat of a fall garden in. I know it's getting kind of late on some things, but some stuff is better than nothing. So we're trying. We just have so many projects going on. And everything is move, moving pretty quickly now. And things are kind of colliding together. But I really want to get this this garden bed in. At, at least to be able to get lettuces and some things. Right here, our pond hasn't changed much. So we don't know what's going on. We don't know if the frogs or crawdads are digging holes into the pond and causing us to lose water or 
if the area where the people that used to have a homestead here many, 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 many years ago used this spring that ran into a holding tank and there was some gravel. So we're not sure if the pressure of the water is opening up these areas because it's just in this one area right here. If you see, we have clay that we poured in here to try to clog up the holes and the holes still keep opening so we keep adding and hopefully that it'll seal it up but once the holes open back up again then the water starts seeping again and we we're losing it this water is flowing pretty rapidly we haven't tested it but with all the openings in this spring over here it, it's at least pumping a gallon per minute so at that i mean that's about 1400 gallons in a day and it cannot keep up with what we were losing we have this pond that's really close uh to where our garden's going to be so we can use this it's still pretty deep uh through the center right here we're looking at probably about six foot of water so there's a lot of water in here and it's a continuous flow but i want to see a lot more in here so we are working really hard to try to get this pond um, sealed up. It is in this area right here. We know it's leaking in this area. It hasn't been up higher to know if there will be more areas uh, that leak. But for right now, when we seal up this spot, uh, the water rises. We think it's pretty crazy because up here at the top, I guess maybe birds, squirrel, it could have been a number of things, but we have two stalks of corn growing up here on the top of the property. And uh, we did not plant this, so we're thinking that maybe birds or something like that dropped the corn and it came up. It's kind of funny that it's side by side, so that's why I'm thinking that if it was a squirrel or a bird or something, that as they were flying or something that dropped. Um, but my husband, he, he kind of cut up here with the bush hog to clean up a little bit just to see how it works. Um, if it worked good with cutting this brush, which it did, he still has a lot of work he needs to do. But he left this just to see what happens. <laughs> 